Hey, I'm Harry and this is the Luke Drop. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What are you guys playing this week? I'm still playing Elden Ring. I just got the Moonbell Katana. So good, you get to shoot a laser beam with a samurai sword. What else could you ask for? In this week's episode, we're gonna talk about Fortnite, we're gonna talk about E3 being canceled and heaps more. So enough faffing about, let's get on with it. Oh, Fortnite Zero Build, let's talk about it. So they experimented with taking building out of the game by like having some story element. But then, turns out, no building in Fortnite is super good. They made it into an official gameplay mode. I'm so psyched, like in, in compensation for no building, they've actually got like a traversal thing where you can sprint, shoulder barge, slide, you got an overshield. You can mantle, which is, means climbing over stuff. It's not a noun anymore. Um, now the building's gone, I, f I feel like I'll actually start playing Fortnite. When it first came out, my mates are telling me like, oh dude, you're gonna play this new Battlegrounds game, it's so good. Like you and your mates, you like jump out of a bus that's flying through the air, you land on an island, and like it's a King of the Hill style, everyone's shooting and killing each other, while at the same time this ring of death is like converging at one spot, so everyone's going in together and fighting each other, and like, and I was like, yeah, yeah, and he's like, yeah, and, and you, and you build tree houses. So I guess I'll, I'll play it now, now that the tree house building is gone. E3's canceled this year. Oh, it's just such a shame. It was a tradition. I remember every year being so excited because you go to school and chat about the most exciting release of that year. There was a buzz in the air. It was electric. I remember it was so fun. A spokesperson actually talked about the cancellation of E3 this year. They said, uh, E3 will return in 2023 with a reinvigorated showcase that celebrates new and exciting video games and industry innovations. I know, look, all these other video game companies have their own separate announcement stuff like Nintendo's got Nintendo Direct and Sony has State Supply. They got their own stuff, but that stuff feels so overly manufactured and artificial and weird. Like it's not natural, it's not life. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like that. And just, and... Sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm mostly cut up by the fact that we're gonna miss out on, on 2022's compilation of the most cringeworthy memes of E3. Ridge Racer! Best part. Haggle 2! Doodly 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 doodly. You're breathtaking! My body is ready. I... <laughs> Rip in peace. The set. Fix the set, please. You know when you get super obsessed with a video game and it starts to bleed into your real life? Well, that's, that's like me with Elden Ring. And it's, it's starting to cause some problems around the office. You summoned? Harry, come in, take a seat, mate. Right. Look, we've had some complaints about your conduct since you've been playing Elden Ring. Oh, the spoilers, yes. Sorry, my bad. No, Harry. I'm talking about these. I'm just trying to be helpful. It's not helpful. You've wasted 200 post-its. I mean, this one says Fortnite. This one says Behold Dog? Order more post-its? That's not even in Elden Ring. Okay, I'll call it on the messages. It's not just the messages. Guys, this blood. Um, it's called a warning, Dan. No, this is a warning. Your final warning. Oh, this is what I mean. Stop. This is it. This is this is exactly what I mean. Finally, PlayStation has announced their competitors to Xbox Game Pass, and it is underwhelming and complicated. So I've written it down. Uh, they've got like a three-tiered pay structure here. The first tier is PlayStation Plus as we know it. So if you want to play online, you need the service and you get two free games a month. Pretty cool. Then the next tier up, you've got PlayStation Extra, PlayStation Plus Extra, and it gives you up to 400 PS4 and PS5 games. Pretty cool. The next tier up, which is only for countries that can't do cloud stream gaming, like Australia, uh, you get PlayStation Plus Deluxe, which gives 
It gives you the ability to play PlayStation games, PlayStation 2, and PSP games. Ridge Racer! I, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I'll subscribe to PlayStation Plus. I don't know, it's meant to be this competitor to Xbox Game Pass, but you don't even get day one exclusives on this service. Like, our producer Dan's not even gonna subscribe to it, and he subscribes to everything. He's got a KO Sports subscription. The dude hasn't touched grass in like 25 years. I just don't think it's it's a good service, but I don't know. Let me know, what would it take you? Actually, if you've got Xbox Game Pass, let me know what it would take for you to also sign up for PlayStation Plus. That's it for this episode of Loot Drop. Coming out this week is 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim on the Switch and Nobody Saves the World on the Switch and PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. I'm getting stuck into Tunic and actually we've got a review of Tunic done by GGSP which you, you should check out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to ABC Gamer. I'm Harry. Peace out. Uh, I'm going to fix I'm gonna fix a set by the way so just don't mind me. ABC. Um. <laughs>